So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on any service one time and then click on W on your keyboard. Now you're gonna scroll down till you find Windows Installer. Double click on it. You're gonna click on Start, which will then change the service status to running and then click on OK. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to search and type in Windows PowerShell. You're gonna right click on it and then click on Run as Administrator and then click on Yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna copy and paste both the commands, which will be down below in the description. This is the first one. Just gonna highlight over this, Control C on my keyboard, go back to PowerShell, right click on the white tab on the top, edit, paste, and then click on enter. Now for the second one, highlight over this, Control C on my keyboard, go back to PowerShell, right click on the white tab, edit, paste, and click on enter. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're in here, you want to copy and paste the final command, which should be down below in the description. Highlight over this, Control C on my keyboard. Right click on the white tab on the top. Click on edit, and then click on paste, and then click on enter. And then click on okay. Now you just want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed. 